Hi, St. Paul. It's Pastor Mark. This is going to be a little different than the average message that I send to you. I want to talk specifically about the adjustments that are happening at schools and businesses and churches regarding everything going around with coronavirus concerns and uh, hesitancy and fear. There are two needs that I have on my mind. One is our need for physical safety. And I believe God would have you and I be wise and prudent regarding health decisions and any exposure to risk you and I might have. The other need, and this doesn't get as much press, is during anxious and troubling times, we have a spiritual and an emotional need for gathering around God's word and for worship. And yes, these are frenetic and concerning times, and we have a need for God's promises, his care, his peace. With that, I wanna share with you this announcement. St. Paul will have our regular worship schedule this Sunday. However, we will not have any of our classes. Even with that, even with us having our continued worship schedule, 815 traditional and 1045 contemporary, but no classes, let me say this. If you are susceptible or in any of the at-risk health categories, don't press. Don't press in terms of getting out, whether it be to the store or to church. You are important and we want you to do, and we wanna support you in doing anything to be well. We will find ways of sharing God's word with you. On the other hand, if you are someone who's slightly under the weather, even slightly under the weather, and you might say, ah, it's nothing. Can I ask this? In an abundance of concern for love your neighbor, stay home. Again, we will find ways of sharing God's word and his promises with you. In fact, in that regard, there's a couple things we're working on for making our ministry available to you. Now that we're caught up with our tech in our new sanctuary, we will be capturing the audio of our sermons and uploading those promptly to St. Paul's website. You'll find a link on that right below on this message. Additionally, we have acquired some equipment where we are going to start uh, experimenting, but we're gonna start live streaming at least one of our worships starting this Sunday. That will be available on St. Paul's Facebook page. You can get to our Facebook page by simply searching for St. Paul Lutheran Church and School PTC, and I believe you'll find it there. That live streaming will start this Sunday. We also, uh, in regards to giving, uh, you'll find more information below about how you can give remotely through our digital Church Center app. You can just follow those instructions, uh, and that information is below as well. For those of you who will come for worship, I believe that we are able to make it safe for you with all of the guidelines that we know. As we did previously last week, you can expect to come worship and we're not going to have the, the greeting, no handshakes or hugging. We're going to wave, we're going to talk, we're going to smile. We're a friendly church, but not that kind of friendly in this kind of time. We're not going to pass offering plates. We will have baskets that'll be available at the doors or at different places where you can just drop a gift in there for offering. For communion, uh, if you want to just stay seated and sing a hymn during communion, God bless you for that. If you come forward, our communion assistants will have their usual washing and hand sanitizing, but we'll have extra individual cups and they'll be spread out through the trays so that there's not any uh, contact that's not helpful or healthy. Regarding seating, we're gonna set it up so that people can sit every other row and you can sit by family groups. There'll be plenty of room for the healthy social distancing that happens. In fact, even when our, we're at our regular full worship attendance, we only use about a third of our seats. So there's quite a bit of room for appropriate distance. Let me finish by just telling you and just reading God's word to you. Philippians four verses six and seven says this. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God's peace be with you, St. Paul. And as always, let us know if there are ways that we can continue to support, care for, and connect with you and your family. God bless.